Hello everyone. So today we're going to see how we could create pop-up forms on Engage Pay. All right. So to create a pop-up form, you go to the marketing module and then go to pop-up forms and then choose to create a pop-up form. So once you choose the option, it's going to ask you as to what kind of style. So you want to use it as a pop-up or a notification bar where you want to position it on the bottom left or on the bottom right. And then if you want to add any call to actions, you can certainly do that, All right? So you want to add a call to action text, you can do that, or a body, you can add a call to action body or a call to button action button text, you can certainly do that, All right? And then these are the different design templates that you could choose from to create the pop-up. So let's say I want to pick this particular template here again, I can do that. And then I want to change the text that is displayed on the form, I can change that from here. Welcome to my website. So based on the text that you want to display on the form, you can change that from here. Then you want to change the description. All right, you can add the description here. Then you want to add an image to the form. You can certainly turn it on and upload the image. All right, you want to remove the existing background image. You can do that. And then where do you want to position the background image? If you need to, you can change the position as well. Then you want to change the footer message that you see here. You can change that. What kind of font you want to use, the font color, the font family, the font background, the button backgrounds, right? You have all those options here. You want to reset the button text every time somebody submits details. You can do that as well. And then you are based on what kind of details you want to capture on the form. You can go ahead and add those fields. So you want to capture... On this particular form, you're only asking for the email address, but you want to capture their first name along with their phone number. So all the details that you want to capture, you can get them added as fields to the form, including the custom fields that you create and save on your account. You can get them added as fields to the form, or you can even use the temporary fields that we have and get them added to the form to capture those details. And then when you go to the settings tab, you could actually specify which page of your website you want to show this form on. So you want to show this on a specific page on your website. You can put the URL of that page here, or you want to show this on pages which contain a certain term, like maybe on your blog page or only on your pricing page, right? or all the pages which contain the term pricing, you can do that. Or you want to show this on pages which do not contain a certain term, or you want to <clears throat> you know, block this pop-up from being shown on page with uh, certain pages, you can say page URL is not, and then there are several other conditions like, you know, how often you want to show this, right? Every time they buy on the website, on the web page, once per session, only once, so the maximum number of times to show, you can define the number, right? As to, and then you want to show this only to visitors browsing your website through a mobile browser, or maybe from a web browser, you can do that, and then you want to add know multiple conditions you can or any condition you can do that so any of the contacts who satisfy these conditions the pop-up shows up to them and then when do you want to show this pop-up when somebody tries to exit out of the page or after they scroll through a certain portion of the page maybe once they are halfway through the page or after they spend a certain amount of time on the page maybe after they spend 20 seconds on the page that is when you want to pop this form open to them you could do that and then once somebody submits their details, you want to send out a double opt-in email, you could do that. And if you choose to do this, only once they opt in to receive communication from you, no further emails would be sent to them from the system. Or you simply want to show them a success message for submitting the details on the form or redirect them to another page on your website. You can put the redirection URL here. You want to send out email notifications to all the users that you have on your account once somebody submits the details on this pop-up form. You can choose to do that. You want to send out an auto-response email thanking them for submitting their details again. You can do, set up an auto-response email with the content that you want to send. Right? And all the contacts that fill out a certain pop-up form, you'd be able to see them on the contact section of the form. Right? So there's no code associated to a pop-up form, unlike the inline forms. So once you have the API and tracking code, that you could get to from account settings, API, and tracking code. So once this is added to the backend of your website, based on the URL or the conditions that you set up on the pop-up form, it will automatically show up on the pages that you set up on the settings that you set up on the 
pop-up settings. All right. So for example, if you go to you know, the settings tab based on which page you specify here, all right, if once you have the API and tracking code added, the pop-up would automatically show up on those pages along with the conditions that you set up as to if you want to show it when somebody tries to exit out of the page or after they spend a certain amount of time on the page or you know, after they scroll through a certain portion of the page. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.